Hi everyone, today is my birthday and in the spirit of aging, I wanna share with you my absolute favorite way to fight against the aging process. People in Japan live exceptionally long and healthy lives and it's home to some of the world's longest living people because traditionally they sit on the floor to read, eat, talk and relax instead of sitting in chairs. They get up and down from the floor hundreds of times a day, which exercises their back, their core, their legs in a very natural way. It improves their posture, their overall strength and mobility, because it takes all of those things to get up and down from the floor repeatedly day in and day out. So research shows that people who can get up from the floor without using their hands simply live longer. There's a test called the sitting and rising test that was used as a predictor for all cause mortality. Getting up from a chair, out of the car, or going down and up from the floor are probably the top three goals people have in my office when they come to see me and they're complaining of balance problems or difficulty walking. So let's find out where you are on the spectrum. Are you saying, heck no, there is no way I'll be able to get myself back up if I go down on the floor? Or are you thinking, hmm, maybe I can get down and up from the floor if I use furniture to help me? Or are you thinking, I could do it if I use my hands? Or are you thinking maybe, oh, I can totally do that test and get down and up without using my hands? If you're in the first category, then I want you to come in so I can help you regain control of this lost ability. You are likely in a high risk category for falling and you need immediate intervention. If you're in the other categories, then I want you to start practicing going down to the floor and getting back up. If you want guidance and accountability, then come in or take my weekly class. If you want to work on your own at home, then here's what you need to do to start improving your situation and this is my birthday gift to you. Every day, I want you to practice getting down and up from the floor depending on where you are. Okay, so if you feel like you will be safe and not get injured and you'd like to give this a try, then what I want you to do is try to go down to the floor and get back up. But I'm gonna show you first the sitting and rising test that was in that research study. So the sitting and rising test is simply trying to go down to the floor without using your hands and getting back up like that. Now, if for some reason you have restrictions in your knee or you have pain somewhere and you don't think you could do it that way, but you wanna test where you are on that spectrum of getting down and up, then go ahead and try a different way. Go down to the floor any way you can. So maybe it's one knee down, and then I want you to try to get all the way down on your back. You're trying not to use your hands and see if you can get back up. All right, and just let's test and get a baseline of where you are today. Do you need to use your hands? Do you need to use the furniture? Did you need to kind of push up like this using the knees and hands to come all the way up? and we just get a baseline, and then I'm gonna show you how to start working on improving that so you can get up easier with less support from furniture or your hands. So here's what you can do to start taking back control, getting better overall strength and mobility in your body to be able to get down and up easier and then ultimately live longer. So based on where you were on that test, what I want you to do is basically practice getting down and up from the floor every day as many times as you can. So if getting down and up is really difficult for you right now, then you might just start with one rep. If getting down and up was doable, then let's start with four reps, okay? And there's different levels of difficulty so that you can do to challenge the body and help it get stronger and better. So let's talk about those. So right now, if you're in the situation where you're needing my guidance and help and safety, then I want you to come in, okay? But if you're able to get down using the hands or using some furniture to get all the way down, then I want you just to practice going down to the floor and lying down on your back and then getting back up any way you can, okay? So that's step one, you just go down Get back up, use the furniture if you need to, get back up any way you can. 
one time. And then if you can repeat another rep, you go down to the floor and lay on your belly. And then you get back up. And then you can try going down, laying on the left side, then lying on your right side, and getting back up for a total of four reps. Every time you go down to the floor and you change the side that you lie down on, you're gonna challenge different muscles, different joints, work different mobility in your body, going down and getting back up. Okay, so try to do at least four reps every day if you can. If you can't, that's all right. You just do one rep is gonna turn into two reps and then we'll turn into three over time as you practice. But it's consistency every day that can really truly help you gain more strength and mobility to get stronger in your body. Give it a shot, let me know how it goes.